At this point, I would like to bring up to the podium Ken's best man, who probably knows Ken better than anybody here, and uh, who's probably sweating right now because he's, uh, just, just to give you an idea, when, when I got married uh, a few years ago, Mike was part of my, my wedding party, but his cousin had a wedding the same day in Winnipeg. So he couldn't be there. But he had prepared a speech, which uh, one of Ken's other groomsmen, Roger, read. And in addition to uh, the speech, Roger and Ken, and uh, one of the other, my, my best man, they, they concocted uh, a way to have Mike at my wedding. So they took a picture of Mike in a tux, or a suit, took it to a print shop, and made a five-foot cardboard cutout of Mike. <laughs> Lovingly known as Cardboard Mike. <laughs> Roger read the speech that Mike had prepared, and to this day, that speech still is probably more memorable than the actual wedding itself. <laughs> now that I have built the pressure up immensely for my dear friend Mike, would you please welcome the best man, Michael Perkins. Mrs. Brown fell down. But moving on. 
Ken and I managed our high school careers a little differently, but I remained, or we remained tight throughout. Uh, I recall being awarded the coveted graphic design award at SDSS. And cheated on just about every other subject, arms and legs, scribbled with supposed answers uh, for every big test or exam. Ingenuity, I called it. <laughs> Who needs to know the periodic table, really? Kenny would just shake his head as he's shaking his head now. <laughs> as planned, I went on to and graduated our college back in 94. I followed Kenny uh, as far as Calgary uh, when he went to Australia in 96 and stayed a few months with our friend Daryl. Uh, I'm a Pisces. I'm married. 35 years old. I'm an illustrator by trade. Now, marketing at a company headquartered in Hamilton. I'm training. <laughs> I'm trained in the deadly art of kendo, uh, so that when the time comes, and it will, I can effectively put my enemies to the sword. <laughs> As it happens, kendo is something Kenny uh, put me onto, himself actively pursuing ninjutsu. Yes, Kenny's a fine human being and a good friend, but I digress. <laughs> Dickie D. Thicky D, the ice cream vendor, I worked there for a day, peddling, <laughs> peddling through thick populations of children in a troubled Markham neighborhood. And I was exhausted for the better part of the day, but stopping meant another barrage of children. And so I kept on, desperate to obey their tiny, shrieking voices. Thicky D, Thicky D! They would shout as I moved further and further out of reach, their voices trailing. I quit that same day. <laughs> Let's see, uh, I had a girlfriend that went away to school in London that I would visit back in 95. To be honest, I visited her when I visited Kenny while he attended Western, and it didn't work out. With the girl, I mean. Ken and I, we're so close. <laughs> movies, I made plenty of movies as a kid. Some of you might have heard of our production company, Gotta Get It Done Studios. <laughs> If not, you soon will. It's something we did during our summers off between summer jobs, uh, bartending at any one of the limitless golf courses in Stovo. Close to 20 short films in all, my brothers and our friends featured prominently in each. Kenny appeared in over 80% himself. His big break, Ken the Nice Guy Next Door, featured Kenny as a young psychopath looking to even the score in the neighborhood. Now it's a riveting performance, so ask him about it. Uh, Ken's Cottage has certainly uh, been a big part of my life. The Murphy clan is uh, generous enough to invite me along every year since grade six. And then the summer after grade 12, we branched out on our own. The first annual Cottage weekend consisted of just six guys, uh, myself and Ken, Daryl, Todd, Mike and Karn. Uh, thought we'd lost Ken and Daryl that weekend to the other side of the lake as they ventured out in a boat. Mike and I had struggled, struggled with their loss for some time by the roaring fire before employing the Deo song to communicate with them. And after just two uh, ripping renditions, we acquired the desired response. And last August, actually, we celebrated the 17th annual Ken's Cottage Weekend. I'd missed only one in all those years. But you know, just 25 months ago, Kenny stood up for me at my wedding. And 25 years ago, we were dipping chips in our milk at Dr. and Mrs. Murphy's, playing with Skipper and drawing pictures after school. It's friendships like ours that map your life and validate your existence. We can tell each other stories and remember together shared experiences, both the good and the bad. And I'm honored to be a part of this experience, and I raise my glass to you both as you embark on a friendship that will rival even ours. <laughs> Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.